Welcome back from the previous episode where we looked at what we are going to build. We also talked about the pages we are going to build. There are so many pages that we did not even look at. If you check uh, on the footer, you can realize they have more hundreds, if not a thousand of pages. Okay, you have all these pages become sales consultant, but we are not going to be driven by all those pages. The most important one, uh, these other pages, they are very easy to build and there is no more logic uh, from these pages. Okay, we are going to concentrate on the pages that really, really matter. And these are the ones we are going to really build. Okay, yeah. So in this video, we are going to look at the tech stack we are going to use to build uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, e-commerce. Okay, so I'm just going to go back here where I have all this uh, stuff. I'm just going to click this one. I want to get back another uh, stuff here. Let me get this other page. Okay, I'm just going to get this other page, the second page. And I'm just going to zoom in actually so that I be seeing only this page here. Okay, so in this one, we are just going to look at the tech stack. Okay, I'm just right here. So we are going to be looking at the tech stack we are going to use. Okay, uh, this is just to see what are we going to use while we are building this thing. Okay, so the tech stack is, of course, always divided uh, onto two. We have always the front end and then the back end. Okay, so I'm just going to distribute this like this. So we have the front end, and let me first reduce here. So we have the front end, front end, and then we also have the back end. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, get this one. So we also have the back end. Okay. So you want to look at the text stack we are going to use on the front end and then the text stack we are going to use on the back end. Okay. So for the front end, let's start with the front end. So the text stack for the front end, of course, we are going to start with HTML. Okay, so we'll have HTML and then we'll have SAS. Uh, a minute. So I want to borrow something from this side. Uh, just a minute. Uh, this. I'll bring it here. I'll make the list and let me just take back this one so i want to start with uh, html okay so see sas so you are going to use sas and then we are going to use bootstrap 5 bootstrap 5 so here i wanted uh, at first actually i wanted to use um, tailwind Okay, I wanted to use Tailwind, but I realized uh, most of the guys are trying to get into Tailwind. And if you want us to use Tailwind, please, after this episode, just comment in the description, uh, in the comment section. Just comment uh, which tech stack uh, or which um, styling should we use. Should we use SaaS only? Should we use even a bootstrap? So you can always oh, use for uh, Tailwind. So you can just comment in the comment section uh, of which language do you want us to use on the front end. Okay, we are not using React or those anything complicated. We are just staying on HTML, CSS, and the normal, of course, JavaScript. Okay, and then we also of course going to use jQuery because we are going to use a lot of plugins uh, to help us do some of these uh, things. Building this whole thing can get really serious. So 
we are going to use javascript this is pure vanilla javascript okay so we are going to use somewhere this is vanilla uh vanilla javascript uh they are going to use also jquery okay uh jquery is going to help us get some of these plugins um for performing different tasks okay so of course uh that is one the tech stack for the front end i guess so if there is something i've forgotten we'll be adding it as we are moving on okay so on the back end of course on the back end we have php okay on the back end we have php and then we also have mysql okay so those are the two ones we are going to be using php mysql for the back end and then the front end we are having all these ones so in the future after we have finished this first series we are going to do another one whereby we are using Laravel, of course to be still php but here we are using crude uh, or we are using really vanilla php or we are using really crude php okay so on the front end we're also looking at this uh text stack so you can just tell me comment anything uh, about this text stack we are going to use okay so next it is now planning okay so by the way on when we are building these uh pages here we talked about the admin dashboard but there is also the there is this um the user uh, or the customer dashboard okay there is also the customer dashboard before that so let me just in a second let me just duplicate this down here so i'm just going to come here first minimize this um okay so we i don't want us to forget something and so we want to have a clear plan on what we are going to build so that we are ready for all these let me first also increase this down here <coughs> and let me also zoom in so that you can see what i'm doing technically here and zoom in okay that is over zooming in so on this we have the user dashboard and on the user dashboard you can see we have the my account page <clears throat> so we have my account so we have the orders and you can just go ahead and make more <clears throat> there is inbox pending reviews blah blah and others account management address book they have all this stuff here they have all this stuff here uh, we are going to see if we really need to build all those ones but the important one is my account page and the orders page okay yeah so that is something we had left behind so let's go back to let's go back to our tech stack so this is the tech stack we are going to use and within all these ones we are going to see how we interact with different components so <coughs> so yeah that is it um see you in the next episode whereby we are going to start building and planning so you're going to start uh, planning how we are going to start building this out uh, thank you so much uh, see you in the next episode